Hold up a second. Weren't we able to go out there before? What the actual fuck? What's up everybody, Redthorn here, bringing you Fortress Siege number 67 here in the game Lineage 2 Revolution. I am excited about a fence I'm going to have put up around my house. It will make me even more antisocial than I already am. But enough about all that, let's get into the video. So there were four fights, there are four real fights this week. The, the pattern is completely destroyed right now since that uh, update. And we've been having fights every week. Not the greatest fights in the world, but they're still real fights and that's what we like to see. Three out of the four of them, their combat power difference was 30 million plus. The one I will be doing, number 28, Requiem at 289.1 million. And number 31 at 268.9 million. It's a little over 20 million difference. Not insurmountable, but definitely will be difficult for Mythic. Let's look at their leaders. Mythic's leader is Kyoko. Shout out to Kyoko. They just recently joined my Discord server, so shout out to you. And here we have Minina-san. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Nice costume, little carrot weapons, looks like a blade master of some sorts. 9.6 million. Let's see what was paid. This is for a B-grade fortress Wacrium. 251 million. Well, that's a whopper of a number for B-grade fortress. And it looks like they have mercenaries. Looking at these others, yeah. They have mercenaries. All three of these, by the way, are real. It's just, the, like I said, the, the difference in CP was, uh, it was too much. And this is another real one. Royal Club is on page one. I think it's on page two. I'm going to call Royal Club for that one. I don't know about this one. I don't remember. Fira, we're going to call it Fira. That one's, uh, I think one of these was, was like 37 million or something. Let's head into the battlefield. We know their leaders. Mythic in the blue. On the top, the Defenders, Requiem. On the bottom, in the red, the Attackers. Two minutes, eight seconds before the beginning of this battle. And I will see you at the ten-second countdown. Start soon. Ten seconds before we begin. Good luck to Mythic. Five seconds before we begin. And good luck to Requiem. And here we go. Fortress Siege. Number 67, Mythic. Defending against Requiem. And I found out a little bit about Mythic. That uh, they are part of a mini me alliance like uh, Omega Squad and Notorious and Empire. They have their alliance of, called One. Well, Mythic ha is in the alliance called MAD, M A D. And it's for Mythic, Aeon, and Down and Under. They have done their little thing. It actually used to be called Mad B. Blood Brigade was also part of this little uh, thing here. And uh, let's see, Requiem just got a 10% buff in the next three minutes. But Blood Brigade fell apart and folded into Aeon. So it's just Mad now. Requiem, I believe they are independent. They have ties to Golden Alliance. They're actually allied with Golden Alliance, and Golden Alliance is in Party On. But Requiem is not part of Party On. The blue team's defense tower has been there goes one of the non-spawn gate defense towers. Looks like... Oh, Mythic is trying to go for that 10% buff. Oh, interrupted. The there goes the non-spawn gate of Mythic.
I stand corrected. It looks like, as we can see here, both clans have mercenaries. Although it only showed one clan having the mercenaries. But maybe when you see that icon, it stands for both clans? Not entirely sure. Oh, he's all by himself. But still managed to get interrupted. Good defense there by Mythic. Uh-oh. Interrupted. And Requiem has a 30% buff, probably for about 30 seconds or something. But that's all it takes. Requiem at 7.6 total 7.6 seconds of total imprint time on the holy artifact the altar of wind has been reset and there goes requiem's 30% buff they're down to 10 but no doubt they're going to be back up 30% right now. So now they have a 30% buff for about two and a half minutes or so. The only clans that I do not have any information on right now are the two BR clans, the two Brazilian clans, Anonymous BR and Celestius BR. The red team has started imprinting the holy They are actually allied with Los Peros and Los Peros is independent. But I don't know if they have their own little, you know, mini-me alliance going on. Or if they're just allied with each other. There goes that defense tower for the Holy Artifact of Mythic. Giving Menina-san here some breathing room. To try to win this fight. The red team has started imprinting the Holy Artifact. <laughs> 13 seconds flat. Lucky number 13. They got beat up a little bit before they got that, what, that one and a half seconds or something. Both leaders died. Almost at the same time. And there is another 30% buff for Requiem. Danny. Just got revived or something. They were they were taking a little little nap there, and then suddenly they were back up again. The 
Altar of Wind has been imprinted. Requiem with a 30% buff. Probably for another two and a half minutes. Well, there goes the final Holy Artifact Defense Tower for Mythic. Nina-san is back, trying to win this fight. They have a defensive wall right here. Five seconds before Requiem wins this battle. And congratulations to Requiem for successfully taking the B-grade Fortress away from Mythic. Here are your stats. They still haven't fixed that. Still got a bunch of dashes. I guess it doesn't matter anymore who's number one. They want to make us figure it out our ourselves. Not a bad fight. Quick fight. Just the kind of fights I like. Quick fights means short videos and easier to edit. There are your stats. All right, let's take what uh, take a look at what else. Uh, Fear one. That's not a shocker. Valhalla one, and Royal Club Athena is still going. So we know who won. There you go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.